Even the MPs. <laughs> well, uh, we have to end the bulletin. But before we go, it has been five months since five-year-old Christina, not a real name, came home bleeding in between her legs after running an errand to buy ice cubes for her grandfather. Uh, she told a gruesome tale of how she had been taken into an empty room, stripped naked and sodomized by a 16-year-old resident of the Asmo community in Sakumono. Host of Super Morning Show, Kojo Yangson, sat with little Christina and has come through with this report. Unsuspecting Christina was sent on an errand by her grandfather to buy ice cubes. But the seller, a 16-year-old boy, had an ulterior motive. He allegedly defiled her. Little Christina managed to tell me what happened. She uh, my dress. And then what? You can tell me, it's okay. He removed all your dress. And then what? Then she said that if I go to the house, let me go and tell my father and my mother say fall down. Okay. She moved my dress and I <laughs> she used me to sleep in floor. Mm -hmm. Before she put something in my bottles. It has been close to five months already. Christina's grandfather tells us he reported the matter to the police a day after the incident, but nothing had been done about the case. Instead, he says, the police investigator asked him to settle the matter with the perpetrator's family. She told me that she would send the case to court on one Thursday. So later, then she called me back again and said, uh, those, I mean, the accused, they have been worrying her. The accused have been worrying her, so we should settle the case at home. Who said this? The CID, the police. We should settle the case at home. She, she's not, uh, she's, she's, she's an Akan. She's not an AWE. So we are social AWE. So we should settle the, the, settle the case at home. Then I told her on food, I said, no, madam. This case has got no case. You are a police officer. You told me that you sent the case to court. Send the case to court. They say, no. She's busy. So she'll call me back. Since then, this woman hasn't called me. The Accra Regional Dovsu Coordinator, Superintendent Alice Awarikaru, admits that the investigator has not done a good job with the case so far. To be frank, when you have a case with us, especially the complainant, you are the one we are on your side. So you should, we should be updating you on whatever is going on. So for me hearing now from you people that there was nothing like that, I think I have to find out because it's not done. Because if you don't communicate with the complainant, how can you get evidence? Meanwhile, the Accra Regional Police PRO has been holding brief for the prosecutor, saying the case has delayed because the investigator is handicapped as far as verifying the age of the perpetrator is concerned. I think that um, they should be given the benefits of the doubt. You can't you understand. Uh, Did you the get the, the reasons? Top, yes, and the, yes. the reason is that they haven't been able to determine exactly. the, the, the suspect's age yes. for four months. So, that's so, that. so that's why I deliberately asked whether if the Ghana Police Service for the Greater Accra Region were to tell the public that for four months we have been unable to take any person whose age, who doesn't have a birth certificate, to court. Would that be, would you, would, when you're speaking for the police service, would you feel that that is a reasonable message to give to the public? So what do you think? Do you think? That's why I'm asking okay. you. You know, it's been four months. Okay, mm -hmm. so for four months, the suspect is walking free. The victim has no justice. And by the way, the suspect lives in the same community as the victim. Mm -hmm. For four months. Right. This five-year-old girl has to live with the knowledge that the person 
who assaulted her and sodomized her lives down the road mm -hmm. and is walking free for four months. So the mm -hmm. question I'm asking you is that as a police service in whom we impose all the uh, responsibility to bring justice to those who deserve it, for four months not being able to determine the age of the suspect, mm -hmm. do you feel that the police has done their best here? Um, I think um, I cannot go beyond that because I have told you the challenge as I have been briefed. Little Christina is still waiting for justice five months after she was sodomized. Well, that's it for the latest news updates we do have. We have myself, Mumavio Sabwadi, Joseph Akable, all of us reviewing the newspapers next. But uh, I'm hoping we'll enjoy some great music before then.